Another potentially deadly attack on a Sikh activist in Canada has reignited fears that the Indian government is still actively using the world's criminal underworld to do its dirty work. After midnight last night, the Canadian home of Indijit Singh Gosal in Brampton, Ontario, was fired upon, leaving bullet holes in the structure. Mr Singh Gosal is a close associate of Six for Justice leader Gurpatwant Singh Panoon, who himself was the subject of an unsuccessful assassination attempt by the Indian government in June last year. And in a sinister reflection of India's murder last year of Hardeep Singh Najjar, also in Canada, shortly after the shots were fired in last night's incident, a message appeared on an Indian Twitter account claiming he had been shot dead, despite there being no public announcement by Canadian authorities or law enforcement of the attack, thus implying a direct connection between the attackers and the owners of the Twitter account. As a result of the attack, Six for Justice released a statement today condemning the act and confirming that the intended victim, Mr Singh Gosal, had been working closely with the organisation's leader in organising a Khalistan Freedom Rally at the Indian Consulate in Toronto on the 17th of February to commemorate eight months since the assassination of Najjar and to demonstrate support for the Trudeau government in investigating India's illegal activities. The statement also quotes a defiant Mr Singh Gosal who dismissed the attack on his life and vowed to continue to fight for the freedom of Punjab from the grip of Indian control. He then directly accused the Indian government and Hindutva nationalist extremists of using the Indian diplomatic infrastructure to orchestrate the several assassination attempts against India's political opponents. This attack followed another recent attack on another Canadian activist, Simranjit Singh, who was shot at by two teenage boys, believed to be carrying out a contract killing paid for by the Indian state. The US Department for Justice has publicised evidence of collusion between agents of the Indian government and the criminal underworld across the Americas after it uncovered the assassination plot against Gurpatwant Singh Panoon last year. It is now widely known that Hindu extremists allied with the Indian government have been using the criminal fraternity across the West to murder Khalistan campaigners, a tactic employed by India to murder its opponents by proxy and then be able to deny any involvement, despite evidence now mounting to the contrary. You've been watching Satellite TV News. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button to make sure you get to see stories as they're broadcast. And of course, if you have any comments or opinions on any of my news stories, you can comment below. Or indeed, drop us a direct message at message at satellitetv.com. We do like to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching. For Satellite TV News, I'm Angus Scott in London.